All right, my friends, welcome to episode 236 of Prof and Dev Play Games. My name is Larry, the professor at Prof Plays Games on Twitter. Over there is Anthony the Dev at Summer Speak, coming to you a couple days late because we had a health scare here that ended up being uh, okay. So we're all, we're all good, all in the clear for now. So, how you doing? Um, okay, I think, overall. <laughs> so it's a lot to process what's going on right now, man. Pretty much. And it just builds every once in a while. And then you're like, oh a lot um but most days it's fine yeah. so well, last night yeah. at 10 30 was a, a happy time for me because um some people scroll through instagram and facebook i scroll through flower websites and finally hit on uh the restock apparently and got myself a bag of flour so i felt pretty happy about that nice because <laughs> i've i'm down to one and i don't like to be down to one so I can make some bread soon. All right. Well, speaking yeah. of bread, uh, we are talking about Nintendo, who's going to make a lot of dough if they put out a lot of yeah. cool Mario games. Yes, got there. <laughs> um, so Nintendo had a, a shadow drop of a Nintendo Direct Mini that we're going to talk about, and then we're going to talk about these new rumors that seem to be confirmed-ish about some Mario games coming out for 2020, the 35th anniversary of Super Mario Brothers. So why don't we tech tackle that direct mini first which wasn't so mini after all what do you no. think it, it wasn't mini <laughs> it was like 20 some odd minutes i don't know it felt like a full direct i feel like they had um, some big games other than big nintendo games they had some big third-party games yeah it was a lot of third just like hey look at our non-indie third-party stuff yeah. coming out mm-hmm. um and yeah i mean uh I'll, do, I'll link you the the thing I'm looking at, which is a, a, just a giant image that just has logos of all the things. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> and it's a lot. Um, so, I mean, for the Nintendo things, I mean, they did some updates for, like, hey, Animal Crossing came out. You, uh, I think... So I'm starting tomorrow is an update for it. Um, going into uh, the Bunny Day, right? They don't call it, they call it Bunny Day, <laughs> and, but it's springtime. Spring starts tomorrow, right? And Animal Crossing, um, which we'll get to that later. What I'm playing, um, they showed that they showed Pokemon Sword and Shield updates coming out, which were kind of hilarious. Um, uh, the DLC that's coming out for that. I gotta say that's probably the part of the. That is the part of the direct that I fast forwarded. I just don't yeah, care I about do Pokemon. I mean, if you don't care about Pokemon, <laughs> then it doesn't matter. Yep. Um, but was it interesting at least, or not really? Yeah, I think it. I mean, it seems like compelling DLC. Um, I don't know if I'll necessarily get it or not. I played some of it, but I'm not anywhere near needing to have DLC for it right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, and then the, and then I mean, this will get to you. The they showed off Smash Brothers stuff. Yes, I was so surprised that they the arms um, character. Yeah, that's something that I had thought a long time ago they should put in because that's a Nintendo property they haven't really mined yet because it's a new one. But it was funny the way they said it that the first fighter is going to be released. It's going to be from Arms, and we don't know which one yet. <laughs> like, why even yeah, or, say it then? Well, they they delayed it. It sounds like oh they right because of COVID. Early, yeah, but yeah, but it's going to take longer. Right. Um, I they I'm sure they know because art will need to be done for it. Mm-hmm. They know what it is. They're just not going to say it until closer to release date. I bet it's going to be at least four characters, like different skins, like the, yeah. the, the Bowser yeah. kids. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, I mean, if you've looked at their other DLC characters, they're they're pretty involved oh, overall. God, so it's yeah. not like it's just going to be like one char- one arms character. Right. It's going to be uh, a lot of additional pieces to it. Yeah. Um, man, I'm very curious what the mechanics are going to be, though. Um, yeah, because they the, the, the fucking mechanic, like you said, they're involved. The mechanics for these DLC characters are like really thought through and kind of bizarre, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, Hero from Dragon Quest and uh, fuck, who was the one that was recently released that had a bunch of different things? Maybe I'm thinking uh, of the hero because uh, Terry Bogart believe, didn't. Are you thinking? Uh, of course, the fire emblem stuff oh that's it that's it yep the fire emblem had all stuff. the different weapons yep 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 so but i don't know how i mean clearly they're probably going to want to do some mechanics with the like bending of the arms right so i'm curious how that's what that will 
Well, you know, in arms, you can attach different arms, you know? Yeah. So I wonder how they're going to fit that in somehow. I mean, they have really good designers, though. So they've been super creative with their with their fighters and mechanics so uh i'm excited to see what they do with it well i think they said that one's gonna launch like in june didn't they say june yeah yeah so this this pack of fighters is gonna be way spread out yeah um might not have been that spread out covid really made that happen yeah it definitely seems like that got pushed yeah at least a month I could see them that they were going to try to do it in May, but it got pushed later. Um, so, I, I mean, it, it's cool. I again, this is a mini. It's a direct mini, but like they're just all that stuff thrown in. Like here, here's a Smash character real quickly. Um, Ring Fit Adventure. They showed uh, a rhythm showed, game DLC. New, yeah, a rhythm update to it. Yep. For, pe- for you know, for the people who actually own can get a hold of the game or spend um, three hundred bucks on a used one. Yeah. <laughs> I saw some guy in a Reddit thread who was like, I just sold it back to GameStop for 20 bucks. I hate myself. <laughs> like, damn, dude. You should. Yeah, right. Look at the market before you send stuff to GameStop. And what GameStop is actually open? It was before, anyway. right, It was like just before they closed, he said. And it's like, damn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Them staying open later really fucked you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, that this was is a... The, that was the most... N- the Nintendo specific stuff that they announced that and yep. they didn't really spend a ton of time on they're like here 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 right and they got right and into now, the third stuff yeah and they, they spent a big chunk on Xenoblade Chronicles definitive edition right which right. Uh, I think is coming out in June I think uh, that was the- it was in the summer yeah uh, I think it was it, it says was May, 20, May 29th okay there yep. are quite a few games coming out on May 29th for some reason by the way uh what else is May 29th? Um, I thought, oh, yeah, the 2K games. The okay. XCOM collection, yep. Borderlands collection, and Bioshock collection. Bioshock. Like, <laughs> those three things together, I was like, oh, my God. Like, that's XCOM that's 2. two <laughs> that's 2K just being like, we want in on the Switch money, please. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I think all... Uh, I, I have all those games on other systems, but I would probably be interested in double-dipping at least on one of those. Yeah, I'm trying not to... Con- don't know which one it would be. I don't think I'd play the Bioshocks on on console, but Borderlands would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean it's just grindy, looty thing. Um, and I've never played an XCOM on console. I don't know how that would be. Brad played XCOM two on PS4 after he ran through it on yeah. um, PC, and it's just it was uh, supremely gimped in terms of the controls. He said so. I was wondering about that. Yeah. I mean, there has to be some compromises, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, the, the 2K had their big chunk there. Uh, what else was in? For me, that was super exciting was Bravely Default 2, which I have the demo, and I've played some, and it's fucking hard. Is um, it? Which oh, they, man. They warn you about. It pops up when you first get in there, going like, this has been tuned to be very hard, so that you have to use all the mechanics in the game. Uh, this is not This is not for the faint of heart. Right. And they're right. It's really hard. Um, and you need to do a fair amount of grinding, just learning the the jobs and learning abilities and the whole thing. It's gorgeous, though. I mean, it's Bravely Default. Um, it's a great mix of 2D, 3D. Um, it's not like the pixel art of Octopath. Um, it's much more painterly than mm, like Bravely cool. Default is. Um but the way that the the backgrounds and the cities and stuff like parallax is just gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely love it. Music's great. Um, doesn't seem like it's pushing too far from the bravely default mold, which already was much more tried and true, like old school Final Fantasy storyline mm-hmm. stuff. Like there's light and crystals and save the world. Um, <laughs> that should be in the box. It's, it's, light crystals save the I world. Know. I mean, they they, they just kind of. Instead of trying to veer away from the tropes, the Bravely Default series just really goes into the tropes really hard. Um, but uh, I I put like half an hour into the demo, just grinding and experimenting, running around, and yeah, I'm gonna be picking that up. Um, they don't they don't screw it up, so but I don't think they're gonna push the formula too far forward. 
Uh, just do what works. Yeah, basically. Give uh, us what we want. Was there anything on here that really... So new things that are announced that I want to probably pick up at some point is Good Job. Oh, that looks so fucking great. It looks really funny. <laughs> yeah, I've heard some uh, review impressions from people who played them, and just they're saying it's like just hilarious, fun, just kind of what yeah, people want right now, right? Just like turn your mind off, just mayhem. Yeah, and it's a really uh, clever art style. Yeah, to make like the the like safety posters type of characters and everything. Right. Um, so yeah, I was pretty excited about that. Like, I feel like that's the thing about like nothing was oh my god, huge, this is amazing sort of thing in this. Right. But there's just a lot of really good things. It was um, it was solid, you know, if you know, yeah. rank it A through F, like solid B games, you know? Yeah, um, they're just like, here, here's a bunch of stuff coming. Yep. Um, I think, I'm excited about Catherine and uh, coming at Switch, and then there was a, actually a Nintendo game we didn't talk about, which is Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics. Oh, right, is that is that actually Nintendo? It's actually Nintendo, yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, so, I'll probably pick that up just because there's a lot of good games in there. Yeah, <laughs> just standard yes. standard stuff. Like those are games that like my wife and I would sit around and play. You know, yeah, on Call of Duty, Car, Sliding Puzzles, Texas Hold'em, yeah. some games I've never heard of. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, and then so people were really excited about Star Wars Episode One Racer, the pod racing game. Uh, the pod racing game is a really good game. Is it um, okay? Maybe that's why they're it excited. is a it is it is a good one. I'm don't think I'd necessarily pick it up or care anymore. It, it was just like, oh, that was a good racing game, and a lot of people probably have good, really fond memories of it. Yeah, oh. it seems like it, because the, the a swelling after the um, direct, yeah. people were I'm, like, I'm super stoked. I'm still waiting to know when Minecraft Dungeons is going to come out fully. Um, oh, they gave a date the today. They ha- oh, did they? What they was did. It, it was, uh, shit. Uh, there's a beta this past weekend um, that I saw some streams of. It was uh, May 26th. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, six hours ago. My, son, my son's going to be thrilled. Dude, it um, looks really good. Yeah, I watched streams of it, and it's way deeper than I th- expected it to be. Really? Like, there's... Yeah, I mean, it is a true loot-based action RPG. So it's like a Diablo uh, with Minecraft. Yeah. Um, like, in different gear you have, gives you different abilities of, like, when you roll, you leave a trail of fire behind you, or just... Uh, all sorts of crazy special abilities and co-op what? stuff going on. Well, it's um, 20 bucks, man. Just, yeah. Um, me and my son will probably play the crap out of that. Yeah, um, yeah you guys will. Maybe my daughter, too, if she wants to play. I don't know. If she, that's, she hasn't shown as much interest in Minecraft. She's all about Stardew Valley now herself. So I wonder if you are going to get it, if it's part of your Xbox, Xbox Games Ultimate. Do you still have that PC? trial or a pc do i've been using it because it comes Great. out it hits switch ps4 windows xbox one and xbox game pass i'm not sure if that's just for consoles or for the pc and consoles oh, i don't know but if it's for if it's on windows and on xbox oh. one then it has to be for both for the xbox pass yeah i would just, that's well there we go strong assumption so yeah um so yeah that that was cool I don't know. Uh, Mr. Driller. I wasn't surprised to see that one. Um, I had Mr. Driller for Dreamcast. I think it was Dreamcast. Do you still have your Dreamcast? I do. Oh, no. No, sorry. Not my Dreamcast. I have my GameCube. My Dreamcast died in a flood. Oh, no. It was at the bottom of a box and got submerged. Oh, you didn't just put it in right? I still still have all the games, though. Oh, that's cool. Uh, So, Mr. Driller... It's June 25th. uh, That was a Game Boy Color... Which one was it? Is it Mr. Driller? Was it GameCube? Maybe it was the GameCube one. Maybe it was the GameCube one, actually. Maybe it wasn't Dreamcast. That you played. I just remember someone... Yeah, I think it was the GameCube one. Um, because uh, someone... It only came out in J- Japan. But someone in college had it. And we would play. We would play it, and it was amazing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, 
so I just have some fond memories of that one. Um, and I was really surprised to see it actually coming out on Switch. Right. Um, There's lots of stuff that was surprising. I think Warhammer's coming out. Uh, yeah, it's a, Switch. a Warhammer game. Yeah, it's a it's a when you're talking about XCOM stuff, it's the tactical Warhammer game mm. that is has really good ratings on Steam. Mm. Um, Mechanicus, yeah, Mechanicus, yeah, has very positive ratings on Steam. Ninety one percent are positive. Dang. On. So I've heard that it, as a tactics game, it's a really good tactics game. Um, so. Yeah. Um, I, overall, I was pretty pretty impressed for a direct mini that I was not expecting, and came out of nowhere. Yeah, was the the shadow drop was nice because I feel like if they had said, "Hey, there's a direct coming," people would have been like, "Oh, Metroid and Zelda and whatever else." But because we didn't know, we didn't have to build up the hype and be disappointed when it didn't have any of that shit. Yep. So. So the question is, when does this? All the stuff originally slated to be shown. I feel like, like does this line up. This would have lined up probably around GDC time. Oh yeah, for sure. And then you know they've had this thing in the can for what at least a month, month and a half. Um, so the dates obviously are going to slip, as they said. Yeah. Uh, so everything's subject to change, of course. Yeah, I think they showed a good. A good chunk of really cool Switch things, third-party Switch games, for most of the year there. Mm-hmm. So being like, hey, there's a lot of other cool stuff coming out for the Switch that's not just Nintendo. Um, oh yeah, another one I saw up there, Panzer Dragoon. Holy crap! God, I love oh, Panzer right. Dragoon. That was a game. Was that from Dreamcast? Uh, where's the original? Saturn, maybe. The original one was was it PS? No, it was Sa- Sega Saturn. Panzer mm, Dragoon. Saturn, that's it. Panzer Panzer Dragoon. It's been ported to a bunch of stuff. No, Panzer Dragoon Saga was on the Saturn, and then Pan. No, it's Panzer Drag Panzer Dragoon uh, was Saturn. That's right. And then Panzer Dragoon Saga ninety eight. Was also Saturn. Orto was Xbox. I played that. I remember that. People in college had that one. Um, yeah, I've been. It's a special type of, of game. I mean, it's. I don't know. There's something very simple about it, but a ton of fun. Way more arcadey and, well, really cool dragons flying around. Mm, yeah. You right. know? Um, I mean, if you're flying around a dragon, it sounds pretty fun. It is pretty fun. It's a lot like, uh, mechanically, a lot like Res, if you ever played it. So you're just kind of aiming at things at the screen uh, to attack. Um, So it's more of dexterity-based pattern matching in some ways. Um, Yeah, like I said, it's much more of an arcade game than anything. But uh, Really excited for that one. I was not... Have they announced that that was coming out for the Switch? Not that I heard. Okay. I thought I heard that a remake was happening. Maybe it just wasn't... I didn't know it was for the Switch. Maybe... But, yeah. oh, you know what? Actually, I remember them talking about uh, Panzer Dragoon a while ago. and me Because I remember thinking, that's that game a lot of people like that I don't know anything about. <laughs> but I don't think they yeah. had any screens or anything like that. Oh, there it was. In December 2018, Sega wow. announced that they were getting remakes... Um, that was a while ago. Yeah, and then the first trailer was on a Nintendo Direct in E3 2019. Uh, and so they finally announced the release date for it, though. Uh, which is... Wait. It's already out? Did that come out? Did I miss that part of the Direct? Which one? Panzer Dragoon? Oh, yep, it says today. Yep, it's out. Huh. Okay, that then. and Jedi oh, Academy. Go. And yeah. Shinsekai, which looked pretty cool. The Capcom. Did you, did, you, hmm? did you hear about the Jedi Academy thing? No. 
So it has uh, crossplay with the PC version that just came out. Oh, I heard that they, that the console people got <laughs> the destroyed. The PC players are just destroyed. <laughs> Is there any way to play with just console players? I don't know. Oh man, that's oh, hilarious. It's hilarious. I'm just like, oh my god. Jeez. <sighs> um. So that was the so, Nintendo yeah. Direct. Pretty, yeah. pretty surprising and pretty good. Uh, speaking of yeah. Nintendo, we had some more news. Uh, I know. Some rumors that came out that said, hey, this is the 35th anniversary of Mario. They're going to do something. And we've heard that before about Metroid and other fucking franchises that never panned out for shit. But this one apparently has been collaborated by uh, Eurogamer and Gamatsu and Jason Schreier that this year we're going to get remakes, uh, remasters, excuse me, of games like Mario Galaxy, uh, Sunshine, and Mario 3D World, which yep. makes me excited for a couple things here. One, I never played Sunshine. I really want to. Two, I've been playing the shit out of Mario 3D World with my daughter, who wants to play the same level over and over and over again. And when we don't have screen time anymore, she wants to play act that level over and over and over again. Oh. <laughs> uh, so I have that whole entire level memorized. Very. Are you going to get her Mario Legos? damn right I am. When I, when I saw that and I saw that it wasn't a game but they were Mario it's, Legos I was still stoked. <laughs> but it she, is a game. It's a game? I thought it was just Legos. It is Legos but the Mario and stuff like it is build your own levels. Oh and my move god that's Mario so cool. Mario along the path and he reacts to things of oh. like and sounds like when you jump on Goombas and on oh. pikes and the whole thing. Like you're meant to build your own levels what? and play and play them by moving Mario across uh, it. What? That sounds so cool. I uh, did not yeah. see that. Um, yeah, you but... have to watch the the, the, tr- the actual like trailer for it. Okay, because I just saw stills. Just... Yeah, no, the the actual like YouTube trailer is um, completely and totally sold me on the the entire the entire thing. Dang. Um, I'm gonna go check that out. Yeah, she's she is like, uh, you know, obviously we're fucking isolated in our house and trying to think of a million things to do for our daughter. And I just pulled up my amiibo box and she pulled out like probably five. I'm gonna click that right now. Five or six that uh, she liked. There's a bunch of Zelda ones and then Mario, Bowser, Rosalina, and then she just knows all the names now. She likes them, wants to see their games. Loves Captain Toad now. We've played a ton of Captain Toad and Toadette. And then um, I'm getting into what I'm playing later. But anyway, uh, she is just so into these Nintendo characters that uh, I would be super stoked to have some of those Mario games come to Switch. And yeah. apparently Mario 3D World, uh, the remake, they're mm-hmm. saying that it's supposed to have new levels. Uh, That's cool. Some sort of deluxe edition, which I would probably double dip for. Yeah, I mean, uh, when I told uh, my wife about the uh, them coming out, she was super excited because she wants to play Mario 64 again. Oh god, that's the other one, right? They're remastering yeah. Mario sixty four. Yeah, and I think it's the, they said one cart that was Mario. It's Mario sixty four, Sunshine and Galaxy all on one cart. Like well, on one disc, you mean? Like yeah. one package, like yeah. sixty bucks, get yeah. all three kind of thing. Yeah, dude, shut yeah. up! I thought they were and all then, gonna be sixty uh, bucks. <laughs> and then the three D world is its own. It's its own separate. Yeah, that's a and then I one. Be- and I bet on. What doesn't exist on Switch Online already, Mario wise? Uh, I mean, game anything GameCube and, be, and beyond. I mean, Sunshine. I'm just trying to think if there's Mario gold. Galaxy Two. Uh, is that? Because I heard about Galaxy uh, One. That... Yeah, they haven't talked about. It. I'm trying to think. Did they? Is there any NES or SNES Mario games that aren't available on Switch Online? I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked at the Switch Online in a while. Because I think if that's true, they're really just trying to put as many Mario games on Switch as possible. Right. Which is fine with me. <laughs> like it's Mario the go-to World, place Mario to go play Mario. Mario Two is on there. Original Mario Brothers Three is on there. Two is on there. Lost Levels is on there, and the, yeah. So I think they have pretty much everything from the NES and SNES era available to play on the switch right now so yeah then they'll just be bringing these other ones online which is amazing i'm just so glad galaxy you is so good God. well i wonder what they're gonna do with galaxy because you you use the fucking wii remote to to point at all the star things or whatever uh, are they gonna do the um you have to use the joy con like that yeah i bet it'll just be joy con or 
maybe they'll do something else. I don't know. Because they probably don't necessarily expect you always to be... Well, I mean, they do the motion tracking with the handheld mode anyway. So yeah. I bet some of it might just be that. Um, but we'll find out. But it's going to happen. So... Oh my god, this Mario does fucking move and react. Sorry, I watched that video you said. I know, you watched the video, didn't you? And you're like, this is oh way my... cooler than just a set. This is way cooler. Oh my god, my daughter's going to lose her shit. You do make your own level. Oh my god, yeah. dude. It's so good. <laughs> it is so good. Oh man, i got to get on the pre-orders as soon as I go up. That's the crazy thing with it. You're like, yeah, they could just make a Mario Lego set. Sure. Right. But they're making it. Well, they they got super creative with this whole thing. Mario counts down the timer, the fucking flag uh-huh. in his chest. What the? All the number of coins you get. Wow. They made that into like a, this is perfect because my daughter is obsessed with playing and we're still limiting her screen time. We're like, yeah, you can't. We played yesterday. We're not going to play today or whatever. But this is like actual play <laughs> in the real yeah. world. But still the characters that she is apparently falling in love with. Um, oh, man, I'm stoked. <laughs> Oh, and if that does well, do you think they'll start releasing other characters? Like this is, Legend this has of Zelda? A Yo- well, <laughs> or you sure, mean more Mario but stuff? like Peach, Toad, oh, things God. like that. Because I think this is just Mario and like Yoshi. has yeah. a little Yoshi. Yeah, I saw Yoshi. Um, My daughter would love Rosalina. <laughs> yeah. That one might be a little bit hard. Because yeah. Rosalina doesn't show up until Galaxy, right? Galaxy, yep. Yeah. And At she's not playable until 3D World, so. Unless it's, yeah. it's a sports game or whatever. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to see when Nintendo is actually going to straight up announce all these remakes because it's pretty. Right. I, it's pretty confirmed at this point. There's been enough, as you said, reputable sources that were like, "Yeah, this is a real thing that yep. is happening." Right. And it sounded like it was supposed to happen around E3. I they feel like they're still going to do their own thing at E3. Why not? It's just digital. Anyways. I mean, E3 is canceled. I, it sounded like they were going to actually do something in person, though. Oh, they were doing the physical presence the thing. Yeah, they were going to mm-hmm. do a physical presentation. Yep. But I assume now they're just going to do a digital, like film something, and just put it up digitally. Right. Um. And so what? That would be beginning in beginning slash mid June. They'd be putting this stuff out, and we've right. been wondering what is the second half of the year for Nintendo. I think right. with these rumors and then the, showing all those third party games. We, we know what Nintendo's doing for the rest of the year. Does that mean that you think Breath of the Wild 2, whatever it's called, is not coming out this year? Nope. I bet yeah. it would push them. I yeah. don't think they'd take away from all this Mario stuff coming out. Like, that Mario stuff is probably their their holiday game. I think, I think that in a good year, Zelda would have been a hard thing to hit this year, and then with COVID, like, nah. It's not happening. And they'll push it, and they'll it will be something for 2021. Um, and then sometime Metroid Prime 4 will show up. You know, eventually. <laughs> like in 2027? Yeah. Uh, um, it's cool. Switch 2. Yeah, right. So th- this talks a lot about um, Mario Galaxy. Do you think 2 is part of this, or is that... I don't know. I was trying to get a sense if that would be the case. If they're going to bring one, why not just bring both of them? If right. they could but that's why that's why i think too. too much work i don't know yeah it's interesting but i would love it i i, I did not sunshine. Beat two, though two was hard as fuck yeah sometimes. <laughs> i was like nope i'm out I... <laughs> some of those fucking mario levels get really really hard they really do um so but there was the first galaxy i felt had a good balance um Two, they definitely amped up the, the difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm uh, way excited. Like so unexpected, I love Mario and mm-hmm. I said at the beginning, makes me feel really old because it's thirty five years. Thirty five years. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, we were born before Mario. We were, and I think that's the. Japanese 35 years because I don't remember what year it would have been in the US um, I mean I guess you would have seen it in the original the original game well do they even consider the original game part of this they always say Mario Brothers but that came out in 83 
that's the one that's like got the pipes on the side and you're kind of bouncing around. Yeah, it's like it's a it's a arcade um, game kind of thing. Arcade, yeah, an yeah. arcade kind of competitive mm-hmm. game. It was um, on Atari. I played that one on Atari a lot. But I don't think they consider that part of the yeah because it came out in '83 mm-hmm. in North America and Japan. So I'm pretty sure that they they really only consider Super Mario Brothers going forward. <laughs> um, as a franchise and that one came out yep 85 video game and it came out in 80 oh it was 85 in north america as well interesting so it is it's a tr- the true 35 year yeah it was true, september in 1985 in japan and then q4 1985 in north america i guess whenever nintendo started rolling out here um I mean, I'm glad they're celebrating the anniversary, I had a man. Nintendo. Yeah, I had, I got mine in '90, I think, '91 even, like pretty late. Yeah, because that was a Super Nintendo came out. Mm-hmm. I probably was still. I I just have memories of playing Mario, like the original Nintendo unboxing it with the gun and having Mario and Duck Hunt and the whole mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure I was older than four. Um almost definitely older than four Um, those are pretty vivid memories for only being four it's probably like i have to be already like it's probably sometime in like 86 87 yeah it's probably like five or probably like six because i was definitely old enough to understand what i was doing yeah Uh, and a uh, lifelong passion was born uh, kind of, yeah. No, no. Zelda was the lifelong passion. Oh yeah. Like that, that original Zelda blew my blew my mind as a kid. <laughs> like holy crap! Drawing maps on your uh, paper and everything. Yeah, I wish I could find. I'm sure my grandparents still have it somewhere, but the, there is a notebook where I had graph paper and I had made maps. <sighs> you had to. What else was I going to do? Right. Like there weren't there weren't guys back then. Um, you couldn't look things up on the internet. Until Nintendo Power started coming out. Yeah. Oh, man, I love that magazine. <laughs> so why don't we transition to the part of the podcast where you tell us all about uh, Animal Crossing before we keep going uh, down sure, this we road. We could go into Nintendo. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so Animal Crossing came out. And <laughs> it is the perfect game for this, uh, what life is like right now. It is anti-anxiety, which is great. Um, That's what we all fucking need right now. Jesus. It is. It's just people are like, all you do in the game is you just you, you pick weeds and do chores and chop down trees and plant and plant new trees and catch fish and bugs and dig up fossils. And, and have weddings that you can't have in real life and meet with your friends. Just all sorts of <laughs> crazy things in this game where it's just like, there is no reason this game should be as fun as it is, mm-hmm. but I love it. And, and it's not a game that you're, you can spend all day playing it, but I'll spend like an hour, hour and a half. Uh, in the first weekend, it was probably a couple hours each day. Mm-hmm. But you can't progress it farther unless you time skip, because it's in real time. Right, so once so you it makes do you sit it down. Stuff, you, it's like, oh, that my museum needs to be built now. Well, I see where I picked where I want it. It's going to be two real time days before that thing is built. Right. Cool. All right. Um, guess I'll do something else now while I wait for that to happen. Um, there's always something to do like each day, but once you do that stuff, it's like, yeah, you can hang out, you can fish more and catch more things, or uh, adjust the look of your house or island, your clothing. Um, I like. It might in seven hoodie, um, <laughs> right? Uh, like design and stuff, but I actually just unlocked today finally the the clothing store in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Mabel sisters, um, Abel sisters, Mabel, people. I don't remember the exact don't, names, don't but basically, me. it's <laughs> they have they have rotating clothing each day in there, but then they also have custom made. Um, designs on the back wall of this of their store, from like what your friends have made and things like that. Oh, that's really um, cool. It is really cool. Um, 
it is such a cool game in that regard of just being chill and it's Nintendo's take on The Sims, basically. And I think this game even came out around the same time. A little like bit f- later, a couple of years after than The Sims, the first Sims. Uh-huh. First Sims was 99 or 2000. 2000. And the first Animal Crossing was on the GameCube. Um, 2001. So... I really, whenever I play this game, I feel like it is Nintendo's take on The Sims, that type of genre of game. And they have just Nintendo-fied it with a lot of cuteness, a lot of fun characters, a lot of puns and everything, a lot of charm everywhere. And if you like that type of game where it's like non-directed gameplay for the most part, Mm -hmm. just do what you want to do. Make it look how you want it to look. Be creative. You'll love it. Uh, if you find that stuff tedious, uh, you're going to hate it. <laughs> Do you find um, that it improves on uh, New Leaf in kind of uh, the tedium aspect? Uh, like, in it, some ways, it... but I think other Sorry. tediums as well. Yeah. I was wondering if it's like easier to get into than... Uh, actually, I think it's longer to get into. They, oh, they okay. definitely ramp out the first week quite a mm-hmm. bit longer. It's not mm-hmm. tedious, but it's just like yeah you're, you're gonna be spinning like looking forward to the next day because it's ramping you into new shops new like oh now i've built houses my own house that took a couple days right. i have a museum have uh i've built houses for new citizens to move into um i upgraded to an actual residence community with isabella is now there that that's what i got two days ago um, Isabella finally showed up. Um, and so it, it's, I would say, a slow onboarding experience, mm-hmm. but it's meant to be. And that's where I'm just like, they have definitively said, like, this is the type of game we are. You can time skip and cheat if you really don't want to wait. <laughs> but it's a game about, about doing what you want to do in the game and then putting it down and coming back the next day. Like, and that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Um, and I guarantee you there are definitely people that would be like nope not for me at all don't want to deal with that but like to me it's awesome and then there's the multiplayer aspect which is only as bad as Nintendo could ever make it um, god damn it Nintendo. oh they but fucked that up too <laughs> always yeah always. Like, uh, not, in a, not in a like an impossible way like I'm not doing this like today at lunch at, uh, we're all working from home but we had an animal crossing lunch we got on we got on slack we all got in got in a call and for an hour we all just played animal crossing we went to one person's island um, and we traded our fruits and dropped off different things that we've crafted and made and people did trading and the whole thing it was great um but my god, it's so atrocious to join someone else's game. <laughs> uh, so annoying. That's a, one of the things people it's are looking so forward annoying. to. And every time someone joins the game in an island, it pauses for everybody and goes to a screen introducing the person that's coming to the island. Oh, man. I mean, oh my, it, it, is this, it is such a Nintendo thing to do. Like, they just don't get it. They don't Clearly, they don't they don't care, and they think this is completely fine. This is how they're going to do it, and so <laughs> this is our vision for online multiplayer. Like, yep. And this is what you get, and you have to just right. accept that. Um, yep. yep. And it's a little bit painful, but it doesn't stop me from doing it. So you're playing uh, it despite that, not because of it. Yeah, because I still want to see my my friends' islands, my coworkers' islands. I want to trade things. I, I now have an, a orchard now of, I guess in two days, the, all the trees will be fully grown, where I have my, my cherries, my peaches, my pears, which are my fruit that came with my, that had my island, apples and oranges. Mm-hmm. So I'll have, I'll have an orchard of all the different fruits. Um, I'm very excited about my orchard. <laughs> It is also kind of nice to like take that time, and then it just feels like you're reaping, I don't know, that that the effort over time. 
as opposed to like the instant gratification, you know? Yeah, it's not a game about instant gratification at all. Right. Well, you've got the time to wait (laughs) right now. Yeah. That's the thing about it. It, it, I really am... uh, It's a really good update overall to the the franchise. Um, Yeah. There's a lot to do. The terraform... I haven't even got to the terraforming of the island. I can build bridges now and slopes. Instead of... uh, but the I haven't got to the point where I can actually start really, like, personally digging up parts of the island or building up stuff. Mm-hmm. So, I assume that will be coming soon. I don't know. <laughs> but that's part of the thing. You never know what you're going to get the next day you play it. Sometimes there'll be a new surprise, or you'll unlock something. Or That's kind of nice with the unlocks, where you're kind of playing towards something small, goals, as you move yeah. towards the larger goals. Yeah, so having a blast with it, um, it's really just kind of one of the things that I need right now to keep myself sane. Yeah. Um, and the only other thing I've been playing is Path of Exile still, because I am so goddamn deep into that game now. Still going like, to, to the, the same... point where I'm actually building my own builds now. Like, I have got to the point where I'm have the stupid program called Path of Building, which is an actual separate program to bu- make builds for the game. And I'm sitting there for... I think last night I sat there for an hour not even finishing a build, just pl- like experimenting with different build paths of skill trees and like skill selections and classes. And uh, Oh, I'm in. I'm so into this now. More than I, I, I think I've transcended the hump of that game into mm-hmm. its true depth and I'm really loving it and it's also a, I love action RPGs and this is the perfect time for a, a deep action RPG I can just pour my mind into <laughs> right that's a nice <coughs> thing to take your mind off of everything else is happening yeah so yeah I just got excited two nights ago being like alright I've played a starter build that I followed an online guide to which is i highly recommend anyone who wants to try the game just go to the forums pick a class you like choose a choose choose a build guide that's listed as a league starter and just play it go follow the guide play it try to understand the mechanics of the game but i finally hit the point where i was like i just want to try to make my own build i'm gonna start another character uh, there's a class i want to play and i want to make a sword and shield character that's all about bleed damage and so i just started going through the 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 big passive skill tree sphere grid thing and using this program search i was like show me all nodes that have that affect bleeding and swords and then i started mapping out my path through that tree and like which was the best better paths which nodes are better which skills are good for for Gems are good for bleed damage and would help. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just I was just started experimenting, and I don't know if I'll be a super strong build in the end. But I've been playing it, and I'm into the effectively their hell mode at the moment. Their second, there's I beat the game one time through, and now I'm going through their second, the second half, which is yeah, effectively like Diablo's hell um, difficulty. And I'm crushing things, so it's working so far. So, yeah. So you can start. You're gonna be writing your uh, own guides pretty soon <laughs> for this game. Nope, never done that. I don't want to take that time. But, <laughs> that was quick. Hell no, I'm not doing that. It's, it's uh, pretty. It's fun to start getting to a point in the game where I'm like, I feel like I understand something this complex. So mm-hmm. it's rewarding in that way. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but that's for what me, I've been playing. For me, it's been uh, Wii U and Mario Kart 8 <laughs> on the Switch. Uh, my daughter is super into 3D World and Captain Toad, and that's literally... No, no, sorry. Uh, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, which is the Mario Tennis game from the last from Wii U. Um, she just likes to watch me play as Rosalina versus Toadette in tennis. And then watched me play the f- the last level of the first world of 3D World, where Bowser's chasing Rosalina in a purple car, and you kick soccer balls until it explodes, <laughs> and Bowser goes <laughs> to the moon. Um, 
and it's just it's super cute she's really into the amiibo like when we're not playing uh she's just like really like play acting pretending with the amiibo and making up stories and just um just so much pretend play happening um and she knows all the names of the characters now it's it's crazy to hear her say bowser and rosalina and toadette and toad and she's telling her grandma all about these characters and her grandma's like what the hell's happening because <laughs> her grandma hasn't seen her in three weeks and all of a sudden this kid knows all these nintendo characters <sighs> and you're like yeah you better learn all of these right now yeah, go right. so it's uh it's it's something <laughs> yeah so super super cool uh, nice. that's that's all I play. I know I put a couple hours into uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Nice. Um, it's, it's fun, man. That's a really good game. The story is just like non fucking sensical to me because I have been bits and pieces of it. I'm sure that's not nonsensical, but not boy, really. Boy. <laughs> all the pieces. Um, are you still sure that it was a pandemic that wiped out humans? I'm just gonna stick with that, but I'm at the, okay. the the next quest at my level is that I'm still cleaning up a few lower level stuff because I'm a weird completionist for some reason. Um, and then I think I'll find out at the end of this quest whether or not I'm right in terms of not like the final answer, but probably a good guess. Um, but I'm still gonna go with pandemic because <laughs> that's where my headspace is at. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Got to beat it before Horizon Two comes out probably got time (laughs) maybe who knows maybe that's this fall we'll find out that's kind of what i'm thinking is that i'm not going to get a ps5 at the beginning either because that's not where i want to put my money or because it'll be delayed or because there'll be yeah they just announced that i i still think it's going to be delayed but uh both microsoft and sony were like no we're not delaying there's still gonna be holiday 2020 i was like really really right that's what sure about that last week that's what we talked about whether or not we believe it (laughs) <laughs> even if it's even if it does come out, if they were going to have a hundred consoles, they're probably going to have ten, kind of thing, like ten percent yeah. of what they wanted or twenty percent of what they wanted. So, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, that was another episode of Prof and Dev Play yeah. Games. Sorry, it's a little bit late, but we had some health uh, con- issues at my house that uh, necessitated me not recording on Sunday night. So here we are on Tuesday. Everyone's fine. Everyone's well, and we will see you next week when we'll be talking about God knows what. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah folks. hopefully something good ideally not, something great yes, yeah that would not be nice. pandemic let's not right. talk about pandemic stuff yeah let's let's see if we can avoid it next week <laughs> yeah all right folks thanks all right later everyone see ya